Hi guys and welcome back. So today has been pre a pretty interesting day. I started recording a little bit later today because we had some issues with the trucks. The trucks keep breaking down, especially the Kamas. So there is this problem, you know, the gearbox has low and high range gears and they are controlled by an air valve. And that air valve keeps on getting stuck and it keeps on getting stuck in between the gears. So basically it's like in neutral. And this happens in some very bad moments. So his gearbox went out of gear in the hill. Can you imagine? A truck full with 13 tons of weight out of gear on a hill. So that's pretty dangerous. Now basically I'm full as you can see and I'm waiting on the track that's been broken down. I hope they get to fix it soon. I mean, we have Spass on our team, so it's not gonna take that long, you know? Spass fixes everything in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go to the edge of the field and wait over there. I'm gonna set the header down. So it takes a little bit of the weight of the bunker. You don't want any of that weight on your tire, just sitting like that. That's gonna cause issues later down the road. But basically, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Wait over there. The Škoda is full, one of the trucks is full. Uh, I think one of the trailers is supposed to be here, so if it is, I'm going to dump a little bit. I can't dump a whole bunker in the trailer because it's not gonna fit it and the tires are gonna explode. But I'm gonna dump a little bit and I'm gonna keep harvesting. Absolutely never ever park tractor trailers on a hill because I've seen it with my own eyes. When you start filling them, they tip over. Just don't do what Spaz did here, please. Now I gotta be careful with that one because you don't wanna overfill it. Those tires are not gonna hold on that much weight. So you better distribute the weight as better as you can. So it's even distribution of weight on all tires. Just go back and forth a little bit and don't overfill it. It can fit the whole bunker. I mean it can but it's not gonna be good on the tires for sure. So I split the whole bunker in half and put about 50% in this one and 50% in that one, I think that's optimal, I think that will work the best. Don't overfill these, their tires do explode, I've seen it, just don't. Now I know what you're thinking, that wheel seems fast, and yes it is, it is pretty fast, but I need it to be fast because I'm also going fast. You get where I'm going or you don't? Either way, I don't care. Well, the Kamas is dead. The gearbox has finally died. And now I have no truck to dump in. Yeah, I'm fucked. All right, so here I am waiting on trucks and trailers, but we have a big problem. The Kamas is not gonna move anytime soon. The gearbox failed. There is an issue with the gearbox and it's not a small issue. It's gonna be a problem. So now I am waiting with a full bunker again until Anatoly comes back with the Škoda or a Spaz and the trailers or something. But this is gonna be a huge problem since we were planning to get this over with in two days or something like that. There's not a lot left over here and we have another small field nearby that we're gonna do literally for like two to three hours or something. We are currently building a warehouse to store our weed so we don't have to deal with the silos people as I call them because they are sometimes very annoying. But this is gonna set us back. We really have to get the weed now we really have to harvest everything, we really have to get to work. And I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna think about it right now, I'm gonna make up a plan and I'm gonna do it. Because that's who I am. When I saw something, when I say that I'm gonna do something, I do it. Even though that it really doesn't depend right now on me. But at least I have the, what's it called, the privilege to make a plan. So, yeah. Well, God heard my prayers and he has sent me a Volvo FH12 with a 35 ton trailer. So yeah, harvest is about to get very fast and very easy. She is beautiful and she will speed this up for the day for sure.
combine is kind of trying to overheat so we're gonna stop for a minute and blow it off that's because we are harvesting in wind and when the wind is blowing from behind you it gets all the chaff out the straw into the radiators and it causes the combine to overheat luckily we caught it in time and we're about to fix it started raining in broad daylight there was no rain in the forecast for sure but this is going to have to stop us so this is just my luck if you don't know me in real life and you want to hang out with me don't because you have bad luck broad daylight and raining So we took off the header, I'm about to head out, Spass went to go get the tractor to get the header with me because I don't want to trail it with the combine, the road is kind of narrow and it's pretty dangerous so Spass is going to do that and I'm just going to transport the combine to the other field. might have encountered a problem oh for fuck's sake oh. I think that's Spaz blew a tire At least this time I didn't fuck up, it was pass. Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot the ladder. Okay. is leaking air pretty fast so he has to 
air it up every few minutes so I don't know what we're going to do but this is not a good situation for sure we need that tractor So now I sent Anatoly out to check the moisture, he did one probe and said that it was pretty high, so I made him to double check just for sure. We are ready, but we need to replace the tractor's tire. Spas is going to do that while we harvest, Anatoly is going to be bringing the trucks around, and this is the last field. I hope we get to finish it off today. It's not that big, it's 100 acres, I can do this in about 2 or 3 hours and we'll be fine. I just hope that everything goes well. storm is coming again. Well, the issue with the gear with the knife turned out to be more serious than I thought. Turned out to be this gearbox and this thing is very expensive and we don't have it anywhere available. So we'll see what we're gonna happen. So obviously a storm is coming and we're not gonna be able to harvest anything now but we won't be able even if there was no storm because we don't have that gearbox anymore lying around. We tried to get it from the other combines here but it's not the same. They're pretty different. So, I guess this is it for now, we're gonna order parts, we're gonna fix it, and we're gonna be harvesting after the storm. See you next time.